Hi everyone, welcome to Gold Price. And as you can see, I have a new background now. Well, that's what I've been working on for the past weeks. I've been busy. I've been setting up this one, cleaning up my lab, and also a little bit of falling sick with some eye irritation. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about the this this um AMD's processor hitting four gigahertz. That issue, you know, guys like the Bauer, they did a research and. Not all processors from AMD you know, are able to reach the boost speed as advertised. So I've decided to experiment on my own based on the boards I have, which are these three Astro boards. I do not have any boards from ASUS, MSI or Gigabyte simply because they didn't send any over to my place. So maybe some, perhaps some other time, but well, at least we have three boards here from Astro to experiment with the processor speed. Now, I in my setup, I'm using the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X with a stock cooler and a 3200 CL16 RAM from T-Force. And with this setup, I ran Cinebench R15 single core benchmark. The single core benchmark is sufficient because it has a long enough duration to push the processor and the stock cooler beefy enough because it's just a single core processor, a single core process, so it won't heat up that much at all, if not at all. So these three boards are from Astro. Now I'm going to I'm going to introduce them for a bit. Starting over here, which is the Tai Chi of a local price tag is at RM one thousand four hundred and fifteen. Over here is their okay. The Tai Chi is their signature high end, and this is their signature middle range which is the, the X570 Steel Legend series. It retails at RM1030. Now this one, I, 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 the X570 Pro, Pro 4, actually X, X570M Pro 4, which is towards, the, I think is the middle range, but towards the low side. So this one is cheaper at RM860. So as you can see, this one is almost double the price. Well, almost 860 to 1,400, double the 1,600. Well, that's why it's almost double. This one is in between. So when I tested all of them with their original BIOS, which means, means the initial BIOS, I can tell you that none of them could get the 3700X to reach the boosted speed. I can reach 4.35. 4.375 but never the magical number of 4.4 gigahertz for the boost clock of the 3700X. But after I updated the BIOS, not to the EBA BIOS but at least to the BIOS that is just around the time where this issue popped up which is around, so the, the, the dates are here, let me, let me go, go through it with you. So for the X570M Pro 4, I updated it to the BIOS version 1.8, which was released in on 23rd of, August, 23rd of August. Then for the Steel Legend BIOS version 1.7, released on 14th August. And then there's the Tai Chi with the BIOS that's released on 2nd September. And believe it or not, I couldn't believe my eyes when I actually tested. All of them get the same Cinebench R15 score. I'm using R15 instead of R20 because I'm used to the R15. It's, it's tried and tested. R20 is newer, but regardless. Either way, I just had the R15 installed and I ran that one. So the, the, the interesting part is that, do you guys want to guess which one turned out to be the, in my opinion, the best board? In my opinion, because I know the results, right? You know, the best board happened to be the X570M Pro 4. Very strange. It, on the first attempt alone, it reached 4.4 gigahertz. And it's the best. Why is it the best? Let me tell you about the result from the other two. The X570 Tai Chi only reached, only showed the 4.4 gigahertz it only hit 4.4 gigahertz on my second run of the Cinebench R15. Oh, by the way, I'm reading it through the software called HW Info. So that's where, where I know which one managed to hit the 4.4 gigahertz mark. So this one, you got it on the first attempt. 
this one got it on the second attempt and the last coming in last is the steel legend which did not hit 4.4 gigahertz at all for him in fact the steel legend was among them the disappointing one on the initial bios it wouldn't even run my 3700x for some reason now after after having them updated to the bios that i listed out earlier um, just now it ran but then it does not run up to the 4.4 gigahertz mark i know so bear in mind i'm just sharing to you that even without the the ever updates some boards can reach 4.4 gigahertz the 570m pro 4 did it marvelously on their first attempt tai chi i'm giving it it's still all right it did it, it did hit that on the second attempt for the steel legend it does not hit at all but either way the ABBA updates are here i saw the ABBA updates available for the steel legends and i'm gonna probably gonna test it as well all right so there you have it my findings of um, the amd ryzen 7 3700x performance on these boards can you reach 4.4 gigahertz yes you can so in even if you go based on the results, the, the details gathered by the bower, yes, there are people who can reach it too. Same. This is my finding for the Astro boards. Now, the question will be whether it hit it at the right call. And my answer to that is no. Based on my test on these boards, they do hit 4.4 GHz, but they did not hit it at the processor, uh, the core that is running the load. Strangely, like for example, even the Tai Chi. The, the 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 core based on the hw info the one that hit 4 gigahertz 4.4 gigahertz is not the one that's running the load and to, to make things more funny is that after okay when i was running the test only one of the core shows it reached 4.4 gigahertz i know it has it has more threads but in this in the HW info, it just shows the core, and one of the core did reach 4.4 gigahertz. Yes, but it is not the one that's running the load. And what's more funny is, after I the the, the run ended, I came back later because the the HW info is still running, and to my surprise, suddenly there are pro, there are threads that actually actually reach 4.4 gigahertz, and that's when it's on idle. So that 4.4 gigahertz is probably some pro background process by Windows 8 or whatever else has installed there. I, I don't know what's the one that hit it, but I know that something's hitting it when I'm not around when it's idling there. So yes, basically you can hit 4.4 gigahertz. You can get close to it, but whether or not it hits the right core, that's another question altogether of which over the couple, uh, weeks to come, other than the, other than the, the, the ABBA updates are available for some boards to what I know. And so once uh, all is ready, probably I test them again to see whether they actually reach what's expected. So overall, that's my findings. Let me know in the comment section what you experienced with your processors, whether it reached the, the advertised boost clock with what you have. All right, so thank you for watching, guys. Do remember to subscribe to my channel. And I'm back because I won't leave you guys empty-handed. And yes, I've tested all the three boards that I've shown you just now with the ABBA updates. And all three of them running the Ryzen 7 3700X hits the boost clock of 4.4 GHz on the right cores. And with that, even the Cinebench score that is around 201 and 202 most of the time has increased to 204. So overall, good job from ASRock for updating the BIOS and good job from AMD for making it happen. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.